Folks, uh, today I'm in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, once a month they have a cruise in, um, like the fourth Saturday of the month or something. They have a cruise in. This is the first time uh, I've been down here. The Mustang Club and I came down here today. There's a couple of us. It's hot, so a lot of them didn't show up. But uh, <coughs> one of the first things caught my eye cruising through here is this PT Cruiser. Now you might say, why? Uh, what's so cool about a PT Cruiser, Scotty? I mean, they're everywhere, right? Well, you know, they are everywhere, but I doubt that there's very many that have that. That's right. This is a PT Cruiser with a 5.7 liter uh, Hemi V8 in it. And uh, holy smokes, huh? You imagine what this thing is like. I mean, it's, a, it's got the Hemi decals on it. They've got the uh, head shifter in it. Not much custom work done on the inside. It looks pretty much like a like a stock PT Cruiser, to be honest with you. Um, if it wasn't for the big Hemi stripe down the side of it, I don't think you would, uh, well, I know from the outside, you wouldn't realize what it had. But I don't know where the folks are that own this car, but they have a sandwich board and a uh, book both. Here is a, uh, Here's what the sandwich board says. It says that it's uh, Terry and Patsy Beatty's of Cleveland, Tennessee. But that's what, what's it's, what it's got in it. Crazy. And they have a book here. I don't know if we can try to do this myself, but it appears that they bought it wrecked. which was probably a good idea if you're gonna customize one to this extent, cheap way to do it. But you can see they've had to put in a new tunnel in it. They've had to reinforce all that. That's what's going on there. I don't need anybody here to tell me that. Same way with that. Taking that four cylinder out and putting that Hemi in required some reinforcements. Got a straight axle in the back. A lot of extra bracing, that's what it looks like. Of course, I'd say it needs it. Subframe connectors, all that. One time it's been on rotisserie having all that done. So again, that's a nice job for this extensive work to be done. And uh, in the end, like I said, if it was just sitting here without Hemi stickers on it, you would never know. You got a fuel cell in it. Oh, nice job. I guess that's the uh, the motor. Oh yeah, all the wiring, all that had to be rechanged. Oh, that was a major project. Absolute major project. I mean, all that's had to be redone for this. There you go. Get it back in there. Yeah, nice job. They've done there. Oh, they've closed all that in. See, that's what that is. They've really done a lot of work, to be honest with you. This is all dressed up. So. What a cool little car. Like I said, you'd never know. You'd, you'd never know it had uh, it had that kind of horsepower in it if you just saw it sitting here. Well, folks, we're going to go try to find some cool cars, some other cool cars. I sure appreciate you uh, checking this one out.